Welcome to technical drawing. Today we will see this sum, how to copy this diagram. So first we will draw axis line. So I'm just drawing the light line and I'm checking the diameter. So it is 120 and 15. So 60 up as well as 60 down and 15 down as well as 15 up. So we can easily fit in on this page. So this you need to check. Now we'll start with circle. So we have diameter 80. So first we will draw radius 40. After that, if you see angle is 45, so we can use protractor to mark, mark 45, 45, or we can use set square. So this way we can use set square to draw 45 degree angle or you can use protractor. Now this angle, this radius is 120. Sorry, this diameter is 120. So radius is 60. So from center, I will take 60. I will cut up. Same arc, we will draw it down also. This is point A, then B, then C and D. So this is point A, this is point B, this is C and D. And from A we will draw radius 15 and then radius 10. So first we will draw radius 15 from A. Then you can draw it from B and same from C and D. Then from center you can draw R. You can draw arc down also. Then we have radius 10. Then from center we can draw this. See after drawing 
after drawing this much we have to draw radius 5 so let's take this point as O so this is O so what I need to draw I need to take from O I need to take 40 plus 5 because this diameter is 80 so I will take 40 plus 5 so it would be 45 and from point A I will cut 15 plus 5 So same from B, C and D also. So what I will do from O I will cut 45 and from A I will cut 20 wherever they intersect because it's an external arc. So that's why we are doing addition. So from O you cut 45 and from A you cut 20 wherever they intersect. From that point you can draw radius 5. Let's take this point as P. You can join O to P and A to P to get the accurate point of the curve or you can take directly radius 5 or you can use pro circle also since it's a very small radius at times it becomes very difficult to draw radius 5 so you can use pro circle so that's why those lines will be very helpful See what I can do, I can do the same thing from B, C and D, I can cut 20 and from O, 45, wherever they intersect, from all those points we can draw radius 5. So we are done with this curve. Now we need to draw 5 circles. So for that, first I will draw radius. We have given diameter 60. So I will take radius 30 and I will draw circle. Diameter is 10. So I will take radius 5. And I will draw first circle which is on the horizontal line from O. Now if you see there are 5 circles. So we should draw 72 degree. 360 divided by 5 will be how much? 72. So I need to mark 72 degrees. So again I will use protractor. I will mark 72 degree. And wherever it will intersect with that circle with that point see this this is point one and this is point two so you got point one and two now you can get another points also from point two also you can draw radius radius five if you have a pro circle you can use pro circle directly Now how will you mark other point? You take 1 to 2 and from 2 you cut that is 3 from 1 you cut down that is 5 and from here you cut that is 4 so you got 5 points see this is 3, 4 and 5 so from this 3, 4 and 5 you can draw a circle so I hope everyone understood this thank you